Hello everybody, I am back. We're going to do our April video series, which is going to be, the, the theme of the month is golf and training tips on how to improve your golf because everybody wants to get back into golf now and how many golf games have gone south for the winter. So now that you're back and ready to play, I want to talk about the most important part of your swing, which isn't even moving the club. It's your address position or your posture and address. Most people will typically be in a round position with very bad posture from sitting at those desks all the time. And from this position, we really limit the ability for our spine to turn, which as we know, helps stop all those slicing, you know, all those shots that go in the woods that uh, you don't want to have to go looking for. So what I'm going to try to help you understand is how to put your spine in a neutral golf posture. Where we start is obviously we get our feet in the proper distance and the proper distance away from the ball. Uh, let me just get in a better position for the, there we go. And what you need to understand is in order to have your spine at the correct angle over the ball, you have to know how to hinge from the hips with your knees slightly bent, keeping your lumbar spine with a slightly neutral arch. So we have to understand that a neutral golf spine is not a flat spine with your stomach tucked it is not a hyper arch with your butt sticking out but it's somewhere in the middle where our actually our back muscles have to be somewhat engaged because as we learned in previous videos when a human being tends to bend over it wants to round in the spine so in order to prevent that rounding we need to engage our core which happens to be our back muscles which is a whole other video we have to have our lower back muscles engaged to get that lumbar spine in the neutral position. So here's what that would look like, right about there. And at the same time, we also want to have the rest of our spine in a neutral position because we don't want to be hunched over throughout our upper back or thoracic spine. So once again, we need to engage our upper back muscles to make that happen. So it's going to look totally something like this. Right about there. Now, if you'll notice, I am not engaging my abdominal muscles. I am not tucking my spine. Because a human ten, when a human tends to bend, the spine rounds, we need to engage our vertical core, which is in our back, in order to hold that neutral position. I'm going to bring Michael out and I'm going to help show you guys how to look at some of the postures that you might be seeing when you're training, because all of our training drills that we're going to go into in the next couple of weeks are going to be based on this position, which is why we did this first. So why don't we take a look at Michael? He's been my helper, doing all my videos, and as you can see, he's got lovely posture from sitting at his desk all the time. So all we got to work on here, Michael, is bending your knees a little more. Now pick up your chest and stick your butt out a little, because you have to learn how to hinge from the hips and keep a little bit of that neutral arch, and now just pick up your collarbones a little more and stick your butt out a little. There you go. So now we've taken not such a good posture and created some very nice angles that he can now start to swing freely from, even though he has had a little bit of a posture problem in the past, which we've actually been working on because Michael's one of my students. Just up. There we go. There we go. And you can see neutral lumbar spine, neutral still a little round, but we're working on it. And these are some of the things you're going to come across when you have to deal with your clients. So I just wanted you to see them. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of other videos coming up this month. You can go take care of that for me. Uh, we've got a whole uh, series of golf tips that are going to be based on that position right there. Thank you very much.